Hi, my name is Brandon Etheridge. I'd like to introduce you to the all-new user interface of Galaxy Virtual Pianos. Galaxy Pianos is a product line of Galaxy Instruments. Currently, there are four grand pianos available, and there are more to come, so let's have a look. All these instruments come with Native Instruments Contact Player 4, with better performance, many new features, and a user interface especially designed for Galaxy Pianos. After opening Contact Player 4, you can go to the Libraries tab, and there you see Galaxy 2, the Grand Piano Collection, and there you have the Vienna Grand, the German Baby Grand, the Galaxy Steinway, and the Galaxy Steinway 5.1 Surround. And then you have the Galaxy Vintage D. Let's load the Galaxy Vintage D. With a new user interface, everything is directly accessible, and with Galaxy Pianos, there's a lot you can tweak, customize, and personalize. There are four sections on the main page of the user interface. The Tone section for changing the piano's tonal character. The Anatomy menu, which controls dynamics, articulation, noises, and tuning. The Space menu, which controls Galaxy's convolution reverb. And the Pad machine, where you can also enter the Warp Effects engine. Probably the easiest and most effective tool in the tone menu is the color knob, which gives you an easy one knob control of the instrument's timbre or tone color. Next in line is the resonance knob for adjusting the resonance of the strings when using the sustain pedal. And we've got the lid position with open, half closed, and closed. The tone menu can be expanded with the plus button to get access to some additional tone parameters, which are warmth, punch, Brilliance, level of the low keys, and a compressor with some presets especially for pop piano sounds. As you can see, the tone section allows you to easily and effectively tweak your piano's tone to match your taste or the musical context. The middle section is the anatomy section, which gives you insight and control over several aspects of the instrument's structure. You can control the dynamic range with one knob, similar to the color knob. Very easy and effective. Under Articulation, there are several pedal functions which can be activated. Repedaling, which enables the use of the sustain pedal after releasing a key. Half pedaling, for those who use a continuous sustain pedal. Silent key, which allows you to press the key softly without generating a sound. And Una Corda, for loading Una Corda samples which are activated with the left pedal or the so-called soft pedal. You can switch the listening position between player and audience. You can adjust voice management depending on your computer's performance. You can choose from different tunings, for instance, historical tunings. There are some noises which you can load and adjust. Release samples for the dying note after releasing a key. Hammer samples for the dropping of the hammers. Pedal noise. Damper noise. And the string noise from the releasing of the dampers. And finally, we've got real overtones for sympathetic string resonance. And by the way, all these samples and the Una Quarter samples are only loaded into the RAM when you activate them, which saves RAM and allows for better performance. And here's the stereo width going from natural to mono to expanded. MIDI transpose and half tones up to three octaves. Fine tuning and sense. And finally, the basic pitch and hertz. In the top line, there's a velocity button, which leads to the velocity editor. Here's a quick view. We'll go into detail in another video clip. So the anatomy menu gives you pretty much every possible tool to customize your piano to your type of playing and your setup. On the top right, you find the space menu, which is Galaxy's convolution reverb with many different rooms, like concert halls, jazz hall, jazz club, recording studios, and many more, and even some reverb gear. You can change the size and pre-delay of the impulse responses. It sounds great. And on the bottom right, you can add pad sounds to the piano. These can be basic pads like string or analog pads, but there are also retro sounds like Mellotron flutes or moving pads like sweeping bells. And this warp button here is the entry to Galaxy's warp machine for sound design beyond normal piano sounds. With pad machine, degrader, spiritualizer, alterizer, and Time Traveler, but that's a chapter of its own, so let's go back to the main page. As you can see, Galaxy gives you four great pianos and endless possibilities for customization. A good place to start exploring is at the global presets down on the left, with presets for different music styles, combinations with pad sounds, 
or warped pianos, which go beyond usual piano sounds. And if you want to find out more about the actual instrument you're playing, try a click on the instrument name on the bottom left, where you can find some information about the piano and the recordings. That was a quick overview of the Galaxy Piano user interface. If you'd like to learn more, I'll see you in some of our other tutorials, or you can visit the Galaxy Tour at galaxypianos.com. Thank you very much.